Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a weight loss tag. Uh, it's slightly adapted to the Slim Well diet a bit more. Um, I got it off Slim Well Junkie, so I'm tagging myself and I hope she doesn't mind. Her information will be in the down bar for anyone who isn't subscribed to her, but I'm sure if you've found my videos then you'll have found hers before. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to crack on with the questions. I started gaining weight when I was 16. Um, I just met my first boyfriend, we both dropped out of college, well, neither of us were employed, we were having takeaways about four times a week, all we were doing was sitting in the house playing video games and eating pizza. <laughs> um, so I gained weight pretty rapidly when I, was, when I was 16. My heaviest weight, I was about 14 stone. Um, I don't know the actual weight because the only time I ever got weight was when I went to the doctors and they weighed in kilograms, not stones and pounds. So I don't know my exact heaviest weight, but it was around the 14 stone mark. I've never tried any other diets apart from Slim World really. I've done calorie counting um, and cutting out carbs and cutting out sweets and just fatty foods. But the only other constructed diet I've ever done was the Slim Fast diet and that was maybe for five days maximum. Because I'm a girl who loves her food and shakes and soup just weren't cutting it for me. I first joined Slimming World in 2011, um, in the April. But like I've said before, I didn't enjoy that group at all. Um, and I only stayed there about three months. So this time around I started in February of this year. And I've loved it so far. I really enjoy my group. I really enjoy the people who really enjoy the people who go. Um, I really like the people who go. They're really nice and really motivational and totally supportive. It's a nice little group. My goal weight is, at the minute, it's nine and a half stone, which is um, only a few pounds away from where I am at the minute. When I get there, I might decide to go down to nine stone. I'm not sure yet. Um, but ideally, I'd just like to be a really comfortable size 10. At the minute, I'm a size 10 in Primark and New Look, Peacocks and places like that. But as soon as I start going into like River Island and Topshop and all the places like that, like the higher end kind of stuff, um, I'm still a size 12 and I'd just like to be a size 10, like in every store. Just go in, that's a size 10. Try it on. Yes, it fits. That'd be lovely. Because at the minute it's like, oh, well, I better get a 10 and a 12 just in case. And it's a bit annoying. Just, especially when you're trying on like more than one or two items. Like if you have to take six size 10s and six of the exact same size 12s, it, you know, it's just annoying. Um, so yeah, I'd like to be a comfortable size 10 really. The hardest thing for me um, when losing weight is when I'm coming home from work like late at night and there's nothing quick to do. Um, most of the time I am prepared but when I'm not prepared I always end up just getting a takeaway and the takeaway of my choice is normally Domino's which sins wise is probably the worst one you can go to but I don't like Chinese takeaways my boyfriend doesn't really like pizza shops which is I'd get a, a plain kebab um, and we don't really tend to get Indian either I, I'm a big fan of Indian but we just never seem to order it it's always Domino's and we get big pizza and chicken kickers. So there you go. Like just totally bad for you. Um, the other thing I struggle with is weekends. If I'm having like a boozy weekend. Don't really have them a lot to be honest. I've only had like three or four nights out um, this year. But the town I live in has got a really bad nightlife. So the only time we ever really go out is when it's out of town. But when I do go out of town um, I enjoy myself. And occasionally we'll go for meals out um, and we'll end up with cocktails and stuff which obviously isn't very nice in wise but it's very nice for your fun factor. Why did I just do that voice? Sorry. Um, the biggest thing I reward myself with when I hit a weight loss target is either makeup just because I enjoy makeup or clothes because there's nothing worse when you're losing weight and having clothes that are too big for you because I know having clothes that are too small for you is really uncomfortable but having clothes that are too big for you is equally uncomfortable and you just feel like you look daft Um, I just hate having baggy trousers like I don't mind baggy tops but 
when you start getting baggy trousers and you know that like you're hiking them up all the time, it just looks like you're uncomfortable. Um, so I hate having clothes that don't fit me. And it, when I get to like, especially in the next size down, because when I was at my heaviest, I was like size 18. So, you know, I've gone to, down to 16, to 14, to 12, and now 10. And I just love getting to that point. There's nothing more rewarding than going the next size down. It just, it just feels really nice. Best thing for me um, about Slim World is how you count sins because when you're calorie counting it's really irritating to take into account every single calorie but when you have super free and free foods all you have to do is count the sins and it's so much simpler because all you have to do is go right it's got 40 this has got 40 calories that's two sins and say you're looking at a biscuit and you're like oh it's just one biscuit it's just one triple chocolate chip cookie that won't hurt and then you actually flip the information over and you're like okay that's 90 calories that's four and a half sins do you want to have four and a half sins out with my 10 a day not really and then you can just put it down and to me that's really helpful i really enjoy just being able to go so many sins don't want it so many sins oh yeah that's fine that's good i'll enjoy that my other favourite thing about Slim World is the actual group that I go to. I go to the later session at my group. Um, she, um, my consultant does a half five group and a half seven group. And usually whenever I can, I go to the half seven group. Um, it's just a lot smaller. That The amount of people that come and get weird are exactly the same as in the first group. But people, the amount of people who stay for the second group, um, there's only between 10 to 15 of us that actually stay. Um, and I just love the people there especially the social team, they're just so welcoming and so friendly and they're there for you whenever you need advice or a bit of support or a motivation boost. Um, like I've said before, we all have like a, a Facebook group and if you're not there for any reason or you say that you're under the weather, you're just like, oh, what's wrong? And the, they act like your proper friends and it, it might sound a bit cheesy because you only see them once a week. But it's just really nice. I do really genuinely enjoy my group. My favourite Slim World recipes are actually quite boring. I really enjoy the chilli con carne. Uh, it's just really simple to put together. You can either throw it together in a couple of minutes with corn, um, corn and already prepared beans. Or you can take as long as you want in a slow cooker with proper mince and dried beans. It's And it's so diverse you can put loads of flavours in to make it more like a smoky Tex-Mex one or just pure Mexican type um, ingredients to make it more of a traditional Mexican chilli so I really enjoy that um, I also like the spaghetti carbonara because that's really simple to make recently I've been making a creamy pesto dish and that's basically the carbonara but with a little bit of pesto and more vegetables um, and I'll be uploading a recipe video of that soon um, also a chilli, no sorry, also a spicy sausage dish we've been making recently, that's really nice. Um, other than that, like speedy curries and just the <laughs> dead basic slim world things like to try and boost my weight loss since I've put a few pounds on and just got back down to my lowest weight. When I get to Target, I'm going to try and go to group as much as possible. Obviously, I've said that I'm going to be leaving my group to go to college. Um, so I'm just going to try and get to my group whenever I can. But there's a Saturday group near me, uh, which I'll still go to every week because I will need to get weighed every week to keep me on plan because I'm the kind of person who would let it slip if I didn't go every week. Not deliberately, I just wouldn't realise it was creeping back on. Um, and then I might reevaluate my goal weight once I c I'm in a position where I can go to my group again um, continuously because I don't want to join another group. I I enjoy mine. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be happy at nine and a half stone. I might want to go down to nine. So I might have to think about that in the new year. <laughs> my favourite body part. Ooh. I quite like my chest because like, that's the slimmest part of me really. A lot of people think that when they just see the top half of me, that I am really slim, um, not my arms obviously, but my chest looks quite skinny, so they just assume when I'm wearing, wearing the right clothes that I'm dead slim, but actually I've got a bit of a belly and my thighs are still really chunky and my bum is 
cellulite ridden so it's like clothes and a nice cover up but my chest just makes me look like thinner like my collarbones um, and it might just be because like my boobs wearing them down I don't even know they're just like quite prominent uh, don't really know what else my non-scale targets are I'm going to college in a few weeks and I quite like to do well there because if I do well in at the level two that means I can go on to the level three I initially wanted to go straight on to the level three but because it's um counseling they go off your personality more than your academic skills so they want you to do the level two so that they can assess whether you're the right personality type to go on to do counseling um, so hopefully I'll be the right personality type and I can go on to do what I want to do. Apart from that, I want to start pulling my house together. It's a bit of a mess at the minute and my housemates at the minute are moving out and we're getting a new one. So we're going to redecorate the kitchen, Nebby's, um, Nebby's redecorate the living room and I'll be having a little study in the little bedroom and we'll be making one of the downstairs rooms into more of like a games room, playroom kind of thing. Because my house is um, it's three exposed walls with like the end of the street at like the end of the street so in the winter our house gets really cold because there's only one wall protected so I'm gonna like try and shut down as much of the house as possible so we won't be using the living room a lot because that's two exposed walls and it's freezing in the winter I'd never consider getting weight loss surgery I mean I'm at a point now where I don't need it and um, but even when I was big I'd never consider it I've seen programs on it which are disgusting and also I feel like the NHS shouldn't have to foot the bill for something that I've done like I don't I don't like my boobs but there's no way I'd like want the NHS to do a, like to do me a boob job and anyway they have to cut off your nipples which is not happening no leave them alone so no no surgery for me <laughs> not in any way shape or form I think the only thing I would do is like cesarean if I needed it but I don't want kids um, so I won't need that no surgery and me are not going to happen right so that's the end of the um the slim world tag hope you didn't find it too boring and if you want to do it just go ahead um and like I said before I'm going to tag slim world junkie in the down bar so that's it for today's video I have just bought a new camera so I might do a little vlog like switching angles so you can see what, what I'm filming on now and what I will be filming on and I've noticed that I've got like a, a thing on my cheek here and I don't know if it's in real life or not I'm gonna go check in the mirror but thank you for watching my vlog and hopefully I'll be putting um, recipe videos and other things like that 